Nathan Cox here, guys. Thanks for joining me here today. Um, if you came from my previous videos and you come here to finish the project off, thanks for sticking around. Um, thanks for making it to the last video. We're going to be installing the toilet supply line. Now, if you just came here directly to see how to install a supply line for a toilet, that's great too. Appreciate you being here, okay? Now, this one here is not just a normal supply line. You can see it looks like a stainless steel braided supply line. Um, and, and do forgive me for the lighting in here. This is a dark, hot pink bathroom. Um, the lighting's not great. I've got additional lights on it, but the color is really just kind of freaking out the cameras, okay? Um, so I apologize about that, all right? This, this supply line here, this is from a company called ProLine. I got it at my local Ace Hardware, and it's called, uh, what's called the Sure Dry line. That's what I was looking for, Sure Dry. So what it does is this tip right here, this end, it's not a tip, uh, the special connector here is designed, and we're going to test it out, that if there is a break in the line, um, that it's going to shut off. So if you have a small leak and it starts dripping, that's not what this is, okay? But if, say, the top of this breaks off, which actually I ran into a lady at Lowe's the other day, and hers did that. It actually cracked, and the hose flew off, and luckily, they were just banking within probably 15 minutes of this happening. It was a huge mess, but they got it under control, okay? So lucky, all right? That's what this is to prevent. So, um, we just finished, we, we're doing it, install a whole new uh, flush valve, which is the overflow tube that connects the flapper and all that stuff. Put in a new corky fill valve, so that's brand new. Uh, got a brand new flapper, but I have a video for that too. If you want to see some of the rest of the videos in this series, like check on that playlist right there, it's popping up, okay? Well, let's get down here, let's take the old supply line off um, and put a new one on. Some of you might be like, well, I want to reuse my old one anyways. Well, the rubber seals in these are only only last so long, okay? And for those of you who just say, well, I'm just going to put a bunch of Teflon tape on it, that doesn't really work with these, okay? This is like a water hose, like a water hose like you use in your garden, okay? And if the rubber seals in here aren't working right because these have ends that spin, there's a joint there, it needs to, to seal there where the seal goes, not along the threads, okay? If that's not sealing, this is going to leak. The Teflon tape's not going to help there, okay? And unfortunately, there's not just like a, a new seal you put on and grab. You just gotta get a new supply line. I think they do that, well, obviously on purpose, you buy a new supply line. But also, the vinyl hose inside the supply line only lasts so long. Um, so I think they want you to buy another one so that it has less issues of rupturing. We don't want it to fail, okay? So, and this one here appears to be just barely long enough, so hopefully it'll make that bend good. All right, now when you shut your shut off off, it's actually a good thing to hold on to it while you shut it off. Because you don't know what kind of pipe, you, you know, you may not know what kind of pipe you have. If you got like a galvanized steel pipe, these things are tougher than nails. You know, no worries. But if you have other pipes, especially plastic pipes, you might actually damage them. If, you know, turning it on and off by putting the pressure when, when you hit the stops. Um, and when you're doing this, okay? So that's why I'm going to support the shut off. And try not to block the camera 100%. this in. Okay, there we go. The bend is a little snug with that connector there, but it's still all right. So we're going to, it almost wasn't long enough because my bow faces downward. Okay. that up of course. We don't have to go crazy. That's why there's rubber seals there. Just snug it up. Okay. Alright, so I've got a two gallon bucket here and I'm doing the best that I can um, so you can see this. 
Oh, that's gonna be hard. I'm trying to do this so you can see it in the camera. Let's turn the water on a little bit. Okay. See, that's got plenty of flow. If that was a toilet fill valve. Let's turn it on all the way. Boom. Okay, it did blow its own uh, washer out. This washer actually has like a little uh, screen in there, which is really nice. But uh, let's. All right. To reset it, I have to turn it all the way off. Yep. So I can turn it off to let the pressure. That shows you what happens if that were to snap off, um, or so like if the, the valve on the toilet were to break off, or something like that, where it would just be blasting on full blast. But you do see that it took almost a full blast worth of pressure to kick it in. Um, so a small leak is not going to get stopped. Um, you can't fix everything, uh, but that's a nice little thing. And that's, I think most supply lines that length, regular ones are probably about $7, and if I remember right, that one was like 12 Okay, um, a couple extra bucks, and it might save you a couple thousand, you know, if that were to break and um, flood your house, okay? So cool, let's get this thing finished up, right? What am I doing? Let's get to it. Okay, simple part here now is we're just going to put this on there. Careful not to cross thread it. Wait a second. I forgot it knocked the washer out. My, that sure seems like it's going forever. Make sure the washer is in place. That's important. Okay, that's a hand tighten only kind of thing. So make sure that's tight by hand and whatnot. But that's that's just all on the supply line. So guys, I hope you like this video. You can check out some of my other videos, they're popping up there. You can also hit the subscribe button, which is, oh, no, this way, sorry, it's like the mirror effect on the camera. Um, <laughs> hit the subscribe button for the channel, really appreciate that it helps out. Please share this video so other people like you can see it and learn how to do this on their own. Um, in the description down below, click on a link to my website, which has got lots of different of my videos. Um, you know, you see most of them on this channel here are going to be like around the home videos, do it yourself, product reviews. But I got a lot of other stuff too. So guys, check it out. Thanks so much for stopping by and you have a good one.